it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today I'm going to be showing you three different recipes that are low calorie, healthy, delicious and filling. So hopefully you guys are excited. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market and I'm going to be using a bunch of their products to help me make my delicious recipes. Now if you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership based marketplace that focuses on selling high quality, sustainable and healthy products and delivering them straight to your door. Basically, if you have a membership, you get to enjoy the member only prices, which are 25 to 50% off retail value. And they have so many different items to choose from, which is why it's so awesome. They have tons of vegan options, like endless vegan options to try. They have a lot of specialty items as well that you might find difficult to find in your local area. So it's definitely somewhere to check out. Another great thing is that when you join, when you become a member, Thrive Market actually gives a free membership to a family in need so that they can also have healthy products at discounted prices. How amazing is this? Okay. All right, guys. So if you want to check out Thrive Market, the link is down below and they have a couple of different membership options. So you can get the one month membership, which is $9.95 a month or the 12 month membership, which works out to be only $5 a month. So that's obviously the better deal. And if you join today, they're offering you a $20 shopping credit that you can use to buy whatever you want on their site. So basically they're just giving you $20 to spend on their site, which is amazing. And another cool thing is that the memberships are risk-free, so you can try it out, and if you don't like it, you can cancel within 30 days and get a full refund. Yeah, the link is down below. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the recipes. As always, guys, the recipes and the ingredients list, everything will be included in a blog post, which I'll link down below. So if you need the written recipes, definitely check the description box down below. All right, so the first recipe I'm gonna show you guys is a creamy tomato lentil stew. It is super delicious, it's hearty, it's filling, it's awesome. So we're gonna get started by chopping up a sweet potato. Now you can use a potato or a sweet potato, but sweet potatoes are superior. So therefore, I am cubing a large sweet potato. Next, we are going to peel and chop three medium-sized carrots. Next, I'm going to chop up a head of a broccoli as well to add into the stew. Let's also dice half an onion. And once we have all those veggies chopped, we can take an oil. I'm going to use avocado oil. I got this from Thrive Market, of course. And we are going to add one tablespoon of that into a large pot. We're going to heat that up on medium high heat and once that oil is heated, let's add in our diced onions. We're going to cook that for a couple of minutes until the onions start softening. And then we're going to add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. So maybe that's about like, I don't know, three or four cloves of garlic. If you're crazy, you can add in like six cloves, seven cloves. I mean, you know, the more garlic, the better. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add the garlic and then let's add in our sweet potato and our carrots. And then let's also add in our broccoli. And then we're gonna add in some organic red lentils. I'm gonna add in one cup of these red lentils. Next, I'm gonna add in two cups of this creamy tomato basil soup. This is a vegan creamy soup that is already made. And this is just a little hack to make our lives easier because you don't have to do too, too much uh, to this whole thing in order to make it taste really good because you're using a ready-made soup. But we're also gonna add in one cup of these strained tomatoes. And then that's also going to you know, allow for extra flavoring and extra deliciousness. And now let's add in three cups of water and we're gonna mix everything together. And this part is optional, but I really love adding pasta into my soups and stews. And I chose to add this one here. This is a chickpea based pasta. So basically it's higher in protein than other traditional pastas. So it'll keep you fuller and it's just great. I love adding pasta into my soup. And this is kind of like a bit of a healthier way of doing so. So I added in one serving of that into the stew. And we're gonna mix that well again. We're building up, we're building up this stew guys, one thing at a time. So we're gonna cover this up and bring this mixture to a nice boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'm just gonna add in some uh, final touches. So we're adding in a pretty generous amount of salt. We're also gonna add in about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This part is optional, but I mean, is it really optional? Not sure. Uh, we're also gonna add in one tablespoon of basil, dry basil, and then let's mix it. 
So at this point, we just let this cook. So basically, we have the heat on about medium, and I let it cook for, I would say, about 15, 20 minutes, or until the sweet potatoes and carrots are cooked through. Now, you wanna check up on it because it is going to thicken up. It's gonna thicken up like so, because we've added some things to thicken it up, like the lentils and also the pasta. So obviously, you can decide how thin you want the mixture. I decided to add in one more cup of the creamy tomato soup soup and then another cup of water i still wanted it to be thick like a stew but i didn't want it to be like super thick so you can kind of adjust how much water or how much extra uh, liquid you want to add into the soup or stew depending on how thick you want it all right let's throw it into a bowl guys let's throw it into a bowl and make it look nice and fancy And to make this look a little bit more presentable, we are going to add a little bit of parsley on top, totally optional, of course. And we're also going to top with a little bit of vegan cashew parmesan, which I just had in my pantry. If you guys want the recipe for that, I'll link that down below. And there is the creamy, delicious tomato lentil soup or stew. And this recipe made approximately six servings. And the approximate calories is 301 calories per serving, 49 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein, and four grams of fat. So obviously this is pretty low in calories. I would definitely add in maybe a piece of toast uh, with avocado maybe, or even, you know, eat it with a side of salad or something. But uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoy. It's really yummy. It's really flavorful. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. For our second recipe, we're gonna be making some chickpea salad coconut wraps. Super yummy, let's get started. So first, we're gonna start by uh, chopping up one stalk of celery. So I'm basically dicing the celery as best as I can. And we're gonna be using one can of chickpeas, AKA garbanzo beans. We're gonna drain it, we're gonna rinse it, and then let's add it into a nice food processor. Now you can mash it with a fork, mash it with a masher, or use a food processor. To me, this is the easiest way, especially when you have quite a bit. I just like to throw it in a food processor, pump it a few times, and there you have it. Let's add in the uh, mashed up chickpeas into a large bowl. Now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of tahini and that's gonna give it a nice creamy uh, consistency. And I would normally use vegan mayo, but I wanted to try something a little bit healthier and different and this was delicious as well. So now we're gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, half a tablespoon of maple syrup or agave nectar, and then let's also add in our chopped up celery. And we're also gonna add in about one cup of chopped parsley as well. And to season, I'm gonna add in half a tablespoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then let's mix that well. That makes our delicious chickpea salad. And also to add into the wrap, I wanted to add some uh, grated carrots. Are these even considered grated or just thinly sliced carrots? I'm taking a julienne peeler and basically thinly slicing the carrots, AKA just peeling the carrots using a very handy peeler. And of course you can add in some other fresh veggies if you'd like. And now here is the magical ingredient. This is the Thrive Market Organic Coconut Wraps. I was actually really excited to try these. And uh, these are basically gluten-free wraps that are made of coconut. How cool is that? So they look like this and then you just kind of fill it up as you would a wrap. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm starting out with a bit of romaine lettuce and then we're gonna add in the carrots and we're also gonna add in that chickpea salad mixture. 
and then you can kind of just roll it and it kind of stays together but i also decided to uh kind of fold it up on the sides as well so that we're actually creating like a wrap wrap okay but you can just roll it and um, it actually sticks together really well i was surprised and um yeah there it is that's that's how you make it and i think you can actually toast these two so that they kind of stay together better but i was eating them pretty much right away so yeah there it is how cute they're kind of more like uh wraps kind of like rice paper wraps that's what it reminds me of um, but they have that subtle coconut flavor and it's actually really tasty and it went fantastic with this chickpea salad so good so I ended up making five wraps in total, so five of those coconut wraps, and this comes to 206 calories per wrap, 25 grams of carbs, 8 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat. I would probably eat about two or three of these wraps. So yeah, it's up to you how many you eat. You might be able to finish all five. I don't know. Who knows? But either way, there it is. I hope you guys enjoy. Last but definitely not least, we have a stir fried zoodles and noodles with fish free tuna. Super delicious. Let's get started. So for our rice noodles, I'm going to be using these brown pad thai rice noodles. I'm going to be using one serving according to the packaging, which is about two ounces or 56 grams. So let's cook that up according to instructions. So not only are we using rice noodles, but we're also going to use zoodles, okay? So zoodles are going to help add more vegetables, bulk up our dish, and um, yeah, make things a little bit more interesting. So in order to make my zoodles, I'm using my handy dandy julienne peeler. But of course, if you have one of those like zoodle uh, spiral things, which I used to have, I don't know where it went. Anyways, I have it somewhere, I think. Uh, I think it's in my parents' house. I don't know. Either way, whatever works. Okay, you can also slice them up, do whatever you want. So some people would probably just do the zoodles, but I'm not a fan of that. I like to mix in the actual noodles. So this is one way that you could kind of lighten up a dish without completely just using zoodles, okay? Because that's no fun. You gotta have the actual noodles, but you can do like maybe half the noodles and half zoodles, yay! So there we go, we have half a zucchini into zoodles and now into our pan, we're gonna use that avocado oil once again. We're just gonna use one teaspoon of avocado oil. We're gonna heat that up in the pan on medium high heat and then let's add in some thinly sliced onions. I'm using a quarter of a red onion because that's what I had. We're also gonna add in one teaspoon of minced garlic and then let's cook that up a little bit. If it starts to stick a bit, you can just always add in a little splash of water. So once we've cooked that up for a couple of minutes, we can add in our zucchini noodles slash zoodles. I do want to cook them up because it's just better. Okay, it's just better. So let's just cook that up a little bit. As you can see, I've also added in some chunks of the zucchini as well because ain't nobody going to waste it. Okay, let's not waste any zucchini. So we just cook that up ever so slightly and then we can add in our finished rice noodles. To flavor our dish, I'm gonna use coconut aminos. If you guys haven't tried coconut aminos, you must try it. It is so, so delicious. It's so good. It's like a sweet soy sauce kind of. And sometimes I prefer using this over soy sauce because it's so good. So we're gonna use one and a half tablespoons of coconut aminos, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and let's mix that well. And let's cook it until everything is cooked. <laughs> Just cook it until it's all cooked, okay? That's all you gotta do. And once everything is cooked, you can turn off the heat and then let's add in one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. This is optional, but it's delicious, so I would add it. I would definitely add it. And final important touch, we're gonna add in a package of this Good Catch Fish Free Tuna. This is the Naked in Water. And this is basically a vegan tuna, guys. And it's definitely the best vegan tuna I've tried. I love it. It's a great way of adding in protein into your dishes. It's very, very convenient. And I thought it would go really well with this rice noodle dish. And I was right. Alternatively, you could also add in chickpeas instead of the fish-free tuna or any other vegan protein of your choice, but I went for this because, I mean, it's tasty, okay? It's very tasty. And it is time to plate our delicious rice noodle slash zoodle dish. We're gonna top with one stalk of green onion, 
optional, but highly recommended. And of course, guys, what else is new? Let's add some toasted sesame seeds on top as well. And there you have it. This is so good, guys. Seriously, you have to try it. And adding the zucchini noodles definitely adds more volume to the dish without adding in lots of extra calories. And also you are adding in some extra vegetables, which is always a good thing. And this dish comes to 464 calories, and it is 20 grams of protein, 59 grams of carbohydrates, and 18 grams of fat. There it is. Super yummy, guys. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the recipes. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, guys, don't forget to try out Thrive Market. The link is down below for you to try them out. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!